It feels like it's hot. It's actually hot. It's really hot. <laughs> oh, but it's good. But it's good. Yeah. It's still good. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman of David's Been Here in beautiful Jackson, Mississippi, the city with soul. I'm staying here at the Westin Jackson. It's the best hotel in the downtown area. The location is super convenient. I can go anywhere in the city from here. Today I'm taking you on a seafood and barbecue food tour of the Fondren area. Let's go eat some incredible seafood and barbecue. I've been hearing so many good things about their barbecue. I haven't had that much yet. Let's go eat, I'm so hungry. So our first stop today, Brent's Drugs, right here for breakfast. I'm Amanda Wells. I'm one of the owners of Brent's Drugs. Brent's was a pharmacy and soda fountain that opened in 1946 here in Jackson's Fonder neighborhood. We actually became a full service restaurant in 2009, renovated to better accommodate that in 2014. So you see our whole huge restaurant now. We've just been a staple in the neighborhood. We have people that come in constantly with memories from growing up, people that came from across the street to have milkshakes after school, and we have grandparents that grew up coming here that bring their grandchildren. Just a really great little neighborhood dining spot. You're here for breakfast, so we have full service diner breakfast, so you're getting your bacon, eggs, sausage, breakfast sandwiches. We have some breakfast tacos. We have pancakes, which is what you're having because they're my favorite. Um, you're having a chicken biscuit and some cheese grits, of course, because you're in Mississippi. We also have, our burgers are what I always, always, always recommend. We have another local favorite is our egg and olive salad that people come in, um, which I haven't given you a scoop of and I need to do. But they come in, it's a local, been here forever. And that's one of the things that people associate with French drugs. So we got the chicken biscuit, we have the pancakes, a sausage, and then cheese grits. Mmm. Oh yeah. Stable Mississippi. Woo! Oh, this looks amazing. Here we go. Oh my god. This is so good. I love how soft the biscuit is with the chicken inside. Fried chicken has like some spices in it. Mmm. And it's like honey sauce. Wow, this is incredible. Mmm. Perfect. Dude, it's so good. Next up, we got pancakes. Oh, buttermilk pancakes with sausage. Lots of syrup. Oh my god, and the butter. It's all about the butter. It's like what I like to do is I get like a few of the pancakes, like three of them cut, put the sausage there. I love this. And the secret to these pancakes is they add vanilla. Obviously, it's buttermilk, butter. Oh. But it's cheese grits, guys. Mmm. Cheese grits all day. This food's amazing. I love American breakfast at diners. There's just something special about it. Okay, so Amanda, the owner, really wants me to try this. That's good. Mmm. Very nice. Mmm. This is incredible. Egg salad. Oh, man. I really love the concept here. Food is so good. The chicken and biscuit, that thing was out of control. That sauce. So definitely check out Brent's Drugs when you come to Jackson. Next up, we're going to Saltines for some seafood. It's inside like an old school. Dueling school in 1927. Cool. These here are Gulf oysters. We get them from Louisiana. These right here. These are Chinooks from, from Virginia, Virginia. And these are Blue Points from Connecticut. <laughs> so here in Saltine, they're famous for their oysters, so it's Saltine Oyster Bar. And uh, right here we have some Gulf Coast, some Connecticut ones, Virginia, Louisiana. So I can eat this all day. Well, I'm TJ Gibson. I'm the general manager at uh, Saltine a Restaurant and Oyster Bar. Uh, Saltine's a modern uh, oyster bar. Fresh seafood, fresh seasonal ingredients, craft cocktails. Uh, very fun vibe here uh, in an old school. The dueling school was built in uh, 1927, I believe, and a lot of the 
flooring and walls are all still the same, so there's a lot of uh, vintage feel in here with a little bit of a, a beach vibe that uh, really drew me to the whole concept. It, it feels, uh, you know, like a like a getaway uh, uh, to an extent. So nice, lively patio, lots of restaurants and. Uh, concert hall right down the hall. Uh, it makes for a really fun environment. Uh, a lot of people out just roaming the streets and uh, feel like you're really part of a community as opposed to just an isolated restaurant that's just opening and closing and going through a grind. You're, you're part of something bigger. So uh, to this point I've loved every minute of uh, being at Saltine and uh, really looking forward to the summertime and getting back into uh, oyster season for sure. So. Oh they have crawfish and bacon in these? What? Nah, I don't need more trash. I can like, for these, I love to just go like this. Oh my god. It's like drinking the sea right there. I love it. <laughs> mm. I'm pretty sure there's some Parmesan cheese on this. Charbo. Then we got this. Uh, so good. Oh yeah. I love oysters. One of my favorite things from the sea. Got one more. This comes from the Gulf Coast. If you didn't know, Mississippi touches the water at the Gulf Coast of Mexico. That's where they get some of the best oysters in the United States. Next up, I'm trying the shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits. And this shrimp and grits is pork, this tomatoes, and some spinach, and we got the grits. to got a good bite. Mm. That surf and turf, and the sauce has a lot of different spices. Mmm. That's so delicious. Very surf and turfy. You mix the shrimp with grits and you get some of that pork. This is phenomenal. Probably the best shrimp and grits I've ever tried. Now, got the Nashville chicken. So basically it's fried chicken with natural hot sauce on top of toast. Oh, it's ranch? Okay, so ranch and then... Um, pickles. Pickles. Normal bunny bread, nothing? Okay, let's do it. Mm. It's hot though. I like how the pickle and the ranch really like tone it down a bit, you know? Cause like, it feels it's hot. It's actually hot, it's really hot. <laughs> oh, but it's good. It's too good. Let me get some more here. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal, it's hot, it's hot. Mmm. If you like spicy. Whew. I'm in love with this fried chicken. So key lime bar, serve with coconut sorbet, and then what's this on top? Whipped cream and it's torched. It looks so good though. Key lime bar. Oh wow. With the coconut sorbet? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Oh, and this like whipped cream on top? Nah, that's a problem. I wanted one bite and look at this. <laughs> I'm digging it. My favorite things for sure. I think the fried chicken was my favorite thing. I love the oysters. Shrimp and grits was great, but the fried chicken was so good and the heat on it mm -hmm. mixed with the ranch and the pickles are really like, it's a great fusion of flavors, oh, you know? Yes. And next up, we're going to Pig and Pint. So we're gonna have some barbecue and some craft beers. It's right here across the parking lot, across the street. Let's go eat some barbecue. Hey, I'm Grant Hutchison, uh, head chef co-owner of the Pig and Pint here in Fondren, Jackson, Mississippi. We give everyone a chef-driven competition style barbecue. My favorites to sell here are pork belly corn dogs, uh, brisket tacos, which David got to try out. Nachos are real popular. You also got to try out the uh, nachos with the pork rinds on it, a little twist for you. We're known for our ribs here. We get voted best ribs every year. And uh, we put a little you know, twist on traditional barbecue items. Uh, I love my uh, uh, banana foster banana pudding is our number one selling dessert as well. Right? Yeah, we got about 140 craft beers to choose from right now. Uh, list changing and growing every day. 140 beers because it's a daunting task going through them all. Okay, so here at Pig and Pint, they're famous for their barbecue and their craft beers. I'm gonna have to start the brisket tacos. I'm also having a double IPA. Ooh. Wow, that's a good beer. They have like coleslaw and they have some mango. Oh wow, brisket super soft, light, a little bit of barbecue. The flavor, the mango with the brisket, incredible combination. I love brisket. Pork rind nachos. Dude, what are you guys doing? This is amazing. Eat the whole thing? So pork rind nachos, what do we have in here? We have pork rinds, we have smoked poblano queso, smokehouse beans. Yeah, I mean, 
The pulled pork looks incredible there, dude. The jalapenos, pork rind nachos. With the pork rinds, just dive in and get some stuff. Wow. This is my favorite nachos ever. <laughs> it's so good. So this is their barbecue sauce mixed with the pork. And the crunchiness and the pork rind. Mmm. Way better than a nacho. So I use the pork rind, this huge one, to pick up the pork. This is incredible. Oh man. This is the last bite because if I eat all this right now, I'm not gonna finish this food tour. Amazing. Pork rind nachos is probably one of the most unique nacho ideas I've ever seen. They're so good. And next up, we're walking over to Walker's Inn, which is right here. It's seafood. We're gonna eat some more seafood. <sighs> seafood barbecue binge today. My name's Daniel, I work at uh, Walker's Drive-In here. Uh, Derek Emerson uh, is our owner, and head chef. Uh, uh, bought the place in September 2001. Uh, kind of turned it into what it is today. However, it has been open since 19, I believe it's 1946. Uh, but yeah, Derek kind of turned it into what it is today with some of his uh, incredible seafood dishes, uh, different steak. Uh, specifically, uh, we have the Redfish Anna. Uh, very popular around the area, but we also have people come through Mississippi and they'll stop in to, just to get the redfish in it. But even though uh, it's very popular, I wouldn't turn uh, anybody away from anything on the menu. Everything's great. Uh, Derek, best chef in the South, hands down. The first thing we're trying here at Walker's Inn is a fried barbecue oyster boboy. I've never had an oyster boboy. This one looks incredible. So the secret here is obviously the batter they use to fry it, but the comeback sauce on top. Mm. The oysters with the light batter, the comeback sauce is amazing. It's like a lot of mayonnaise. This is one delicious sandwich. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is the everything crusted number one tuna. Tuna with uh, some like amazing crust there. Chipotle glaze around the dish. And this is like pepper jack cheese grits. Oh my god, dude. We're gonna do the tuna with the grits. Mmm. That crust, that chipotle sauce. So different. Mmm. I love the pepper jack cheese in the grits. Oh wow, what an amazing combination. One thing I love about the South is the grits. Grits on everything. Last bite. It's so good. Phenomenal. So I was done, but the chef suggested I had to try this lemon tart with blueberry whipped cream. Looks so good. Just delicious. Walker's is amazing. Definitely suggest you come here if you're looking for seafood. This dessert. Mm. Now we're going to Basil, and here we're gonna have some barbecue. We're gonna meet with the owner, Nate. Let's eat some more food. What's up, man? What's up, man? How Good. you doing? Nathan Glenn. Pleasure. Nice to nice meet nice you. Nice to meet you, man. My name is Nathan Glenn, and I am owner and operator of uh, Basil's Roosters and the Feathered Cow. Welcome to Basil's in Fondren. We're a little Italian, little sandwich spot. We come back with fresh focaccia bread, fresh bakery. Today we're going to be showcasing our rodeo uh, panini, Southwest coffee barbecue sauce, slow cooked beef brisket, caramelized onions. A great sandwich. We're going to do our barbecue chicken pizza with caramelized onions, slow roasted chicken. Uh, you can't beat the combinations. Come on in and welcome to Fondren. Rodeo panini. Yeah, it is a slow cooked beef brisket. A so coffee barbecue sauce? Yeah, we use the local sneaky beans coffee, peppers, little brown sugar. Mmm. Good. It's so tender. It's yeah. like falling apart. Because you say Italian and it's like, that's what I taste. It's yeah. like Italian sandwich with barbecue. Yeah. Spicy. Not spicy, it's a little hot. Yeah, just, just a, little, a touch of heat. A little hot. But this is amazing. I'm gonna have one more bite. It's just something about brisket that I love. All right, let's jump on the pizza. Barbecue chicken pizza. No, I love the way you cut this. I mean, I love the cut. Oh, I took a little bit of that guy. <laughs> I have to get into it. Mmm, is there honey in this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. Oh, so sorry, there's also bacon in here. I mean, the combination of the cheese with the honey, it's amazing, but I'm like pacing myself, guys. Mmm. I mean, the brisket was incredible, and then this, I really, I'm just like a huge honey guy, yeah. so like, 
the mixing with, I, I even eat like honey with cheese all the time. Yeah. Just like put on top of all my cheese. We visited so many places. We went to Brent's Drugs, had probably the best chicken and biscuit of my entire life. Then we went to Saltine, there the shrimp and grits were delicious, oysters too, pig and pint. Wow, those uh, pork rind nachos and that brisket taco was so good as well. Walker's Drive-In, I can't tell you how good that place is. It's like that tuna with grits. Wow, just wow. Unbelievable food here. And then basil. I love that pizza with honey, but I really liked their panini with brisket. It was very, very yummy. That is it for our barbecue and seafood restaurant tour of Fondren neighborhood in Jackson, Mississippi, the city with soul. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you tomorrow on the next adventure.